Okay, these are some uh, proofs from the proof worksheet on section 4.4. .4. And I kind of had these already in the computer, so I set them up so I can get through these just a little bit faster. All right, so here is what you needed to write out is all this, of course. Unfortunately, you don't have it on your computer. Okay, so AB is congruent to CD, so I wrote that was given. And angle ABD is congruent to angle CDB, and that's given. And I'm going to mark those on my picture over here. So this is going to be AB is congruent to CD. So I'll put one mark there and one mark there. And that's a side. I want to prove these two triangles are congruent. Triangle A Looks like we have a misprint, so I hope you guys had probably saw this. This is wrong, sorry about that. This would be ABD, triangle ABD, so make this correction, sorry about that. ABD, ABD to CDB, so that should have been a D, sorry about that. ABD, excuse me. And this, this match, I just wrote it down wrong here. Okay. Okay, sorry about that. I'll have to fix that, won't I? Okay, and um, this angle, ABD, ABD, so I can mark that, is congruent to CDB, and this correspondence is written for the triangles. So I'll mark that, so that's going to give me an angle. All right, so we have side angle. We're trying to prove these two triangles are congruent. We have two ways to do this, side, 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 or side, angle, side. And right now, I think we see that we have DB is in both triangles. We've seen this before. DB is in triangle ABD, and DB is in triangle CDB. So, we can say that DB, or BD, I guess might be better, BD. I'll do that in blue here. BD is congruent to BD, and that's by the reflexive property. Property of congruence. Okay? So I mark that with two marks up here. And that gives me another side. So now I've got side angle side. So I know that these triangles and will be congruent by side angle side. So let me state this triangle. ABD is congruent to triangle CDB. And that's going to be by side angle side. So that was a misprint, so I'll kind of write this down, make sure you correct that. It should have been ABD, not ABC. That's not even in there. So ABD to CDB. Kind of like these angles. All right. So if that makes sense. So all this was basically, all this was done. So we just needed basically one, two, three steps because you know your last uh, statement will always be what you're trying to prove. Okay. Hope I didn't have any more misprints. Okay, let's try number two over here. And this, should, this these, these I copied right off the, uh, I just pasted them over and then put this in off the worksheet. So we have AC is congruent to EC, so I can mark that. And BC is congruent to DC. And this is what I stated over here in the givens. And I wrote this given here first and this given here first because these are sides. And the reason why I did that is because I can't get these sides, but I can possibly get these angles. So, because they are what kind of angles? Vertical angles. So I get to say that angle ACB is congruent to angle ECD. 
You could also name it like this, but I like to name it the same correspondence. In other words, if I say A, C, B, I'm going one mark, two marks, E, C, D, one mark, two marks again. Okay, so these two angles are congruent. Why? The vertical angles. Vertical angles are congruent. So that gives me an angle, and then that's the why I put this side, this given here, and this given here, because as you can see over the left, we have side angle side. Otherwise, you might kind of confuse that. So I try to set this up to kind of reinforce what this is. Because we could have had, we could have had S, S, A, but you'd have to understand that this isn't necessarily the order that we're going to be using for the sides. Okay. So if you write it like this, it makes a little more sense, side angle side. Because if I put these in front, it would be side side angle. There is no side side angle. That, is there. that won't work. Okay. That isn't, uh, you know, a valid method. Okay. So what we have left now, we have our side angle side. So that give me triangle congruence. So I know the triangle A, B, C. is congruent to triangle. So A, B, C would be E, D, E, D, C. Wait. A, B, C should be E, D, C. I should have written the, I should have written the correspondence like this. This is another misprint. Oh, I'm a mess here today. Okay, E, D, C. Now it looks like the same triangle, but it is important. It should be E, DC because we have to go the same order so A B C E D C I'm going through that line so it should be like that E D C I did these kind of late last night so okay so make that correction also okay so that's two of them I hope I didn't make any more misprints they might seem, you know, you might have missed those, but, you know, we have to be careful about the correspondence in the letters, okay? Okay, so if that helps. And these are going to be the same either way. This would be the same. This would be the same. Just change that letter. This is the key idea of vertical angles, okay? Hope those help. There we go. So that's number two.